Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to look at the pros and cons of all the sanders that we use in the shop. Let's get into it. Alright, let's start out by saying this is not a sponsored video. These are all the sanders that I bought over time with my own money and have used, and now I'm just going to give you my personal opinion on each one of them. One of the things to consider is by trade, I'm a handyman and a carpenter. I also do the projects for the YouTube channel and we refinish furniture on the side. So we use our sanders not only on a daily basis, but sometimes for hours at a time. So what may not work for me may work out perfectly for you. Now, just to give you a heads up, our focus in this video is going to be mainly towards big box store sanders, not the more expensive sanders such as Festool or 3M. Let's start the list off with the only sander that I no longer have in my possession, and that is Ryobi's battery-powered orbital sander. There are two major pros on this sander. Number one, the price point. Ryobi makes their tools very accessible, along with their batteries, so you can get a tool in multiple batteries for fairly cheap. Number two is the convenience of it being battery operated so you can carry it around to wherever you need it. The cons for me on this sander were, number one, it really eats through those batteries when you're working on a longer project. We had to have a couple batteries on standby to make it through one piece of furniture. Number two, the vibration on this seemed to be really high. It actually, you could feel the vibration after using it for an extended period of time. But if you're working on smaller projects around the house, maybe some DIY projects, then this sander may be perfect for you. Sander number two is going to be Rigid's Orbital Sander. This is on the bottom of my list. This was by far my least favorite. Sorry, Rigid, just is what it is. Number one, the design with the bag coming out the side just makes it feel really bulky. And this bag is super long it just feels like it's taking up a lot of space and even though the height isn't really different than any other sander for some reason it feels like you're holding a lot and it just felt like it was unbalanced we had this sander for probably six to eight months before it kicked the bucket and just wasn't working properly anymore now i know that rigid is the one company that offers a lifetime warranty but after talking to the tool professional at my local Home Depot, she advised me that unless I can go four to six weeks without the tool, then I might as well just forget it. Seeing as how we use our sanders every day, that was not an option. The price point of this at the time of purchase was around $70 to $80, and you're required by Rigid to pay your own shipping and handling, so I figured I might as well just buy another one. All in all, least favorite, hated it. But maybe you have one and you love it. Who knows, this is just my opinion on this sander. Next sander on the list is going to be Bosch's orbital sander with this cool little dust collection system. That's one of the main purposes why we purchased this is because of this dust collection cavity right here. It actually has a built-in filter and it works really well. Now this sander also has variable speed and it goes up to six speeds, but it's kind of in an awkward position back here in the back. Not that you're gonna be adjusting it a lot, but it just seems like an awkward place to put that. As far as the dust collection, it does work really well, but this canister is very small. So when we're working on something large, like a piece of furniture, we had to empty this multiple times to get the job done. All in all, we love this sander. We do use it quite frequently, mainly because of the dust collection system on this. If you're working on a small project inside, this is actually really perfect because it works really well. You just have to make sure to clean out that filter on a regular basis. The next one on the list is one of my all-time favorites. I really like DeWalt's Orbital Sander. They just make a built-to-last product. Like the rest of the sanders, it does have variable speed. It goes up to six speeds. But again, the location of the variable speed is a little awkward because it's kind of right where you would hold your hand. And I have had instances where I've accidentally adjusted that while I'm sanding because it's just right there. Another thing I will say is the dust collection is definitely not the greatest. They have this little bag, which a lot of the sanders do, but I just find that it fills up too fast and it doesn't work all that well. Bottom line is this is one of my all-time favorites because we have really put this sander to the test. It has lasted the test of time. It is a real workhorse. 
The next sander is not an orbital sander, but I figured I'd add it to the list also in case maybe you work on furniture and things, uh, and that is Black & Decker's Mouse. Again, it has the same style as the Bosch with the little canister, and as you can see, that canister is really small. But we really just use this to get into the corners of boxes and furniture, so we don't put it through a lot of use. All in all, it's one of those sanders that you get what you pay for. It's small, it's not really powerful, but if you need something to get in little nooks and crannies, it's really cheap and it's nice to have around. For our next sander, again, not an orbital sander, but I wanted to add it to the list because we really like this thing. We actually just got this little Milwaukee not that long ago, and this thing works really, really well. It has the same canister as the Bosch and as the Black & Decker mouse, but as you can see, it is substantially larger and will go much longer without having to empty it out. Now, I would like to say that this is a great tool to get into corners, and sometimes it can be, but because the frame is so tight up to where the sandpaper is, you can actually rub up against uh, other surfaces and mar them up if you're not careful. All right, some of the cons about this. Number one, it's been discontinued. I'm not exactly sure why. I never looked into it. Ours works perfectly fine. Maybe they're just making a few adjustments on this particular type because they don't sell this model, but I believe they still sell this design. Number two, there is no variable speed on this sander. We've never really had need for it when we're using this particular sander, but it does come in handy and it's kind of annoying to not have it. Another thing that is not really a con, I just thought was weird, is that most orbital sanders or palm sanders have a toggle on and off switch, whereas this Milwaukee right here has separate on and off switches. I thought that's a little weird. I'm not sure why they did it, but you actually have to consciously look and switch buttons. Not a big deal at all, but I just thought that it was weird that they went that direction. All in all, this was a little on the cheaper side and I'm really happy with the purchase. We really like this thing. And one of the biggest things that I like about it is that not only does the dust collection work well, but this canister is so much larger than the one on the Bosch. All right, last but certainly not least, and my new all-time favorite, is the Makita Orbital Sander. Man, I love this thing. It is super cool. They sort of went after the same style that the more expensive sanders like Festool and 3M are making with the extended handle so that you can hold it like this. I love that. It just feels like you have so much more control with that and it just makes it so much more enjoyable to do something that we usually don't enjoy as woodworkers. Like most of the sanders, it does have variable speed, but on this particular one, it only goes up to five, not six. I don't know that that really matters. We haven't noticed a difference and we do use it. It is a little awkward that it is up here on the top because if you wanted to use this like a traditional palm sander, your palm is gonna be right up on top of that variable speed and you may adjust it. Personally, I love the handle and that's how I use it, so it's never been a problem for me. Now, you may say that it's one of the cons because it goes back to the old school bag technique for the dust collection, but as you can see, this bag is substantially larger than the one on the DeWalt and it works really well. Another little feature that they added is this little handle that you can attach right here and that you can hold it with the two hands. I've never used it, but I guess it's kind of cool to have around. Now something that this little sander features that puts it a step above a lot of orbital sanders is the sanding pad in the casing. On a lot of orbital sanders, the casing comes right up to the edge of the sanding pad and really just limits how useful that sanding pad can be. But as you can see on this little Makita, the uh, sanding pad sticks out further than the actual casing and that really enables you to get in there and put some pressure on spots that's needed uh, with that nice cushy sanding pad. And that little feature can really make a big difference. Last but not least on this little Makita is the lever lock right here. Now I know a lot of orbital sanders have this feature. I think my DeWalt and a few others do. But the reason why I appreciate it more on the Makita is because it has this handle right here and it has that little extra handle they send you. So once you lock that lever in place, you have a lot more mobility and versatility with moving this thing around. To release the trigger lock, you just push the trigger in and it releases it. 
All right, well, there's a quick look at all the sanders in our shop and the pros and cons that we've come up with after using them for some time. I'll leave a link to each sander in the description below in case you want to get some more details and check it out for yourself. If you want to check out our other review videos, I'll leave a link in the description. We work on a new project video every week, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.